Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where we are going to do a little bit of investment in our investment duchy here. I would like to think about potentially going to war but I really feel like we probably shouldn't considering the current age of our ruler. It's uh, a little bit up there and I don't really want to be in debt when we inherit. That would be slightly awkward to be sure. We'll just do a little bit of investment here. That said, I am actually interested in grabbing a duchy away from this lady. Is this duchy the one I'm most interested in grabbing? I don't know. Let's see, that's two counties and two counties. I think it doesn't really matter. We'll go for it. So we've declared war on her. We'll go ahead and put in a marshal. That'll help. Excellent. And we can call in allies, and so we shall. We're going to spend some prestige on this, but we don't care. Come on in, allies. Fantastic. We are, of course, going to go in ourselves. And we're going to control-click to not split our armies. Now I'm going to split this in half. We're going to take just these lads straight into our capital. The rest of these guys, their goal is to chase down her army, and I'm not sure exactly where that is. Let's see here. Oh, hello! In her capital. Okay, we'll put that down. Fantastic. Now, we are currently making money with just our men-at-arms raised, which I'm slightly surprised by. Maybe we just need to wait for the next month's tick before that properly updates. Oh, we captured her in that battle. Well, that was easy. Okay, so this is currently held by us. And let's see here. This is the Duchy of Savo, which she currently holds. Okay, we're going to have to usurp this away. For now, we can grant these titles to other people so that we don't have to deal with that. I think we'll grant it to this guy. Excellent. And we will also grant a title to... Um, this son might not be the worst thing. Okay, we'll grant it to him. There we go. Excellent. So now we don't have the domain holdings issue. Now, one thing that I am in favor of, let's see, let's get this guy switched on up. We can actually use a hook, so we can just do that. Excellent. One thing I am in favor of that CK3 does that CK2 did not is CK3 appears to have done away with the vassal limit. And that's a good thing. The vassal limit in CK2, I mean, it did force you to hand out hand out titles, but it meant that before you got your empire title, things got real awkward real quickly as you were trying to expand into an empire title. That's not the case in CK3, and I don't necessarily hate that. So we want to usurp this duchy. It's kind of strange, I gotta say, that we take this, we, we declared it for the Dejure duchy, but now we have to usurp the duchy title from her. Even though we got the land, but not the title. It's definitely a little strange. Okay, what's well, the Dejure Duchy capital? That is, of course, this. So we'll grant this guy the title Duchy of Savo. Wonderful. And now we can transfer him over into Finland. There we go. And that should, in theory, make Finland strong enough to be able to do whatever they want over here. I hope. It'd be a good thing if they did. We can lawfully imprison this duke. Almost a 70% chance there. We'll roll that. He'll probably... Ooh, we can vassalize this guy. He'll... Who is this? Oh, this guy. Do it. So, this duke, if he rebels, he'll probably rebel on his own. And he did rebel. Okay, uh, where is this guy? Down over here. Fine. He's gathering troops. He's a little ways away. 
We'll raise all here. Stop gathering. And in we go. Okay. This guy accepted vassalization. That is perfect. We can probably transfer him over. Yep, we can transfer him right on into Bavaria. And so we shall. Excellent. Well, we'll put down this rebellion. This should not be a problem. Hey, we captured him. Fantastic. We'll enforce the demands and disband our army. Wonderful. And now we'll ransom this guy back to himself, and we can lawfully imprison this guy. He'll probably leave. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about that. He did indeed leave. That's fine. You can do that. Okay, we probably want to upgrade... Oh, we don't have a keep here. We need a keep. Noted. We have a new stewardship lifestyle perk available. We could grab detailed ledgers for Republican vassal tax contribution, and we're going to grab that. We do have a fair amount of Republican vassals at this point. So that'll be okay. This is currently at a castle. So this person's been upgrading their own castle. That's not too bad. That is, of course, pretty expensive. 605 gold. It's higher level than the capital castle. <laughs> Oof. Queen Mila's feudal taxes to us were just re reduced. I'm not a fan of this. Not in the slightest. 1366 is when we can get our crown authority up. That'll be fine. We can get a dynasty legacy. I guess we'll get this intrigue lifestyle one out of the way. I'm not too concerned about that. And let's get, just get saved up for keep here. Fortress requires... Yeah, we have the tech for that. What is the actual upgrade here? 0.3 gold per month? Okay. It's so expensive to get this all upgraded. That's the thing, is that in CK2, the, the major thing is that CK2 allows you to upgrade these much faster. You can get your castles relatively maxed out early on, because you can also adopt feudalism pretty quickly and not enter that big dark age that CK3 has. I've definitely learned things from this campaign, though, and I have a feeling that my next campaign... Reminder, this is still my first time playing Crusader Kings 3. This, this is my first campaign. I have a feeling I will handle things differently in the next campaign. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say that this is unsuccessful. We've done a very good job so far. We could do better. We could definitely do better. Let's go ahead and start getting this upgrading. That'll take, of course, four years, which will be fine. How are we doing on our techs right now? Court officials is at 98%. Renaissance thought is at 96%. I think we're not going to focus on either of those. Standing armies will be done in 11 months. So that is definitely something to consider. The exposure, or rather the innovation exposure, may target either of these if they do that's fine i'm not going to manually target either of them i really don't think i am we should probably start working on upgrading this there we go We're currently down below 60 gold per month we can lawfully imprison this guy and that's something we definitely will do and we'll ransom him back to himself for 30 gold the other thing is that CK2 has a lot of ways to get gold that CK3 simply does not. CK3, it's primarily at this stage of the game from imprisoning and ransoming, right? But in CK2, you can focus on business and get a lot of gold that way. You can also, in CK2, do the... Uh, do the borrowing technique which gets you a lot of gold, which you can't do in CK3. Yeah, you can borrow gold from a holy order. And this event is a lot better in CK2. It's a lot more powerful, specifically, because you can guaranteed get the gold in CK2. 
Whereas in CK3, you're actually probably better off usually going for the new Silver Coins minted bonus. Just because the difficulty of the challenge is sufficient that it's like a 40% roll. Tends to, in my opinion, not be very worthwhile. Hey, there's court officials. That does, of course, mean that we can revoke this. Or we could revoke this. Cannot revoke a title from an ally without a title revocation re reason. Right. Because she's our daughter. This would be the best one to take, though, because it's on planes and therefore has hamlets. As opposed to the other two, which are forests. So I think we'll hold off on that for right now. Let's go ahead and revoke from this guy. There we go. That'll get us some extra gold. That'll be fine. And we'll just hold this for now. We're obese again. Probably not for long. We do have a bunch of gold right now that we should probably consider investing. Let's see. Do these require... These require a temple grounds building or its upgrades. Okay, so we need to do that upgrade in order to continue upgrading this. And the same thing actually is over here. We need to upgrade that as well. That is completely fine. 100% okay with that. We're currently up to 66 gold per month. Doing pretty well on that front. And realistically, the Prussian Empire is definitely a big un. I'm a little concerned about our borders with Toledo, but so far they've been peaceful. And technically this is impassable terrain. So technically they have borders with the Byzantine Empire, not with us. And they've definitely been doing some work with the Byzantine Empire. They've been chipping into them. And West Francia, for that matter, which, by the way, is currently in a civil war. We just discovered standing armies. Okay, so the question is... Oh, yeah. Embrace Dievas. This will be your home. Sure. What did we focus next? Noblesse oblige. Okay, that's, that's decent. I don't mind that. Court officials, of course, already finished up. Standing armies finished up. Renaissance thought should finish up before any of these do. Maybe not before cranes. And we'll probably go for sappers, I think, is what we'll go for next. Yeah, I think sappers is the most important thing next. Hold on. We're in a war? So we are. We're in a war. Why, hello there. I will say that this ability to teleport around your men-at-arms in CK3 is a little bit overpowered. I'm going to put in... Let's see, we already have one unit of bombards. I would like to grab a second unit of bombards. But I'm going to do this, I think, after this war. So let's go ahead and raise our troops here. And in we go. We will absolutely crush them here. This is not going to even be a contest. Yeah, they want nothing to do with this. And I don't blame them. They should want nothing to do with this. Yeah, run away. Question is, are we going to be able to catch them at any point here? We're currently ill. And we'll send for a physician. We have caught these guys. That's fantastic. Okay. We're going to pay 300 gold for this physician, I guess. I probably shouldn't have done that, actually, now that I think about it. Because I don't care if this guy dies or not. Okay. What are we trying to siege here? Like, what is the war goal? This county. Fine. Fine. And it is this guy that's claiming it. 
What's his capital? Oh, that's awkward. Okay. So he's just a count in the Byzantine Empire. I guess we're going to go siege his capital. That's fine. That's completely fine. Let's head on over. Oh, hello. Additional troops. Now, these guys are pretty weak in terms of their strength. So we might actually... They're a little bit split up. Oh, hello. Look at this. These guys are locked in. These guys have decided to abandon them. GG. It's over. They don't have a chance here. They've given up. But now these guys are locked in. Oh, this is so bad for them. This is disastrous for them. They had to be grouped up. To stand even the slightest chance. I wonder where they're retreating to. Well, we'll find out. Maybe down to their capital. I'd prefer not to go this way. I'd prefer... Mm, it really wants to do that. They may just be retreating to Byzantine territory, though. It's hard to say. Yeah, I'm not sure what they're doing. Well, they're retreating, obviously. But I'm not sure to where. They hired mercs for this, too. Oh, okay, they're just retreating to here. We might be able to catch them before they hop onto boats. We are a little ways behind them. Mostly because it kept trying to hop onto boats. But I think we do catch at least some of them here. Yeah, we catch the bulk of them here. Fantastic. That's a stack wipe. We're at 94%. We're going to go home. They can't siege this in time. We have ticking war score on our side, so we're just going to go home and call it a day. Are they coming north here? If they come out here... Okay, they're going this way. That's fine. Go home. Excellent. We're going to create another unit of bombards. There we go. And I'd like to, to bump this up, but we're going to, I think, hold off on that for a little bit. Yeah, we expect them to be trying to do some sieging over here, but there's no way that they get it done in time. This siege is going to take seven months. This siege, they're not even started yet, and we only need 1% ticking war score. It's over. They can't do anything. There it is. This guy's going to give us a thousand gold. Thanks for the cash, buddy. Okay. Well, that happened. Let's use this cash to get our bombards up to size 12. Now, yes, we can take everything to size 17. We're not going to do that just yet. That'll be a project, I think, for another time. For right now, I very much do want to increase this Bailey, but do I want to do that now? I think the answer is actually yeah. I think I do. I want to continue investing in our investment duchy. I don't care about our son leaving court. We can ransom some prisoners, demand some payment from this guy. Sounds good. Do it. We can now usurp the kingdom of Moldavia. That is definitely something we should do. Okay, we'll save up the gold for that. That won't take very long. Another stewardship lifestyle perk. We could grab cutting cornerstones, reduce our construction costs. That'll be fine. And we just need to wait for our next month payment, month tick, 30-day tick, whatever we want to call it. 
for the ability to usurp this. Of course, he is currently at war. That war has been going on for a long time and is at 0%. Okay. Four months. Nobody has any ticking war score. Well, that's potentially going to take a while. Do we want to invest the money elsewhere? Or do we want to wait for this guy? Oh, he's fighting a battle right now as we speak. We'll see if he wins this. And he did! He won the battle. Fantastic. Now he's probably sieging. Okay, so that'll mean that it'll take some amount of time. I think we should probably go ahead and upgrade this temple grounds as soon as we can and then save up for usurping the kingdom of Moldavia since it'll not take all that long making 64.6 .6 gold per month in theory we are of course continuing oh we're dying in that case oh it's because we're obese are we still trying to lose weight yes we are Our health is poor because we're an obese, spindly drunkard. That said, I do not mind this daughter taking over. Not in the slightest. We're no longer obese, so we're no longer dying. <laughs> this guy has a contract that is quite lenient. We can pay him. 88% chance that we persuade him. And I think we'll take the Diplomacy Challenge. I think that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and upgrade this temple. He agreed. Perfect. Okay. How's this guy's war going? He's still at 19%. But in theory, he should finish this war up pretty quickly, I think. He's sieging up here is my guess. That said, that's a lot of troops compared to him. I definitely want to usurp the Kingdom of Moldavia. There's no doubt about that. That is 100% something that I want to do. But we have to wait until his war is done. And it's a super... Oh, he died. So it's now her. She inherited the war. Okay. Sometimes the war goes away because it's no longer valid, but this is a claim war, so... Okay, we'll see if she manages to win that war. Either way, we're going to take the kingdom title, no matter what. This city needs to get upgraded. It will take it a fair amount of gold to do that, but that is okay. I'm not too concerned about that at all. We could upgrade this logging camp, but I'd really rather start getting these big upgrades going. They take a while, but they're also quite expensive. And I'd love to get up over 70 gold per month base. This guy is a 7 stewardship compared to our daughter who is a 10 stewardship. This guy's going to die basically any time though. So we definitely need to be planning for that. Definitely no more wars the rest of this life. We do not want to be at war, particularly in a big war, when we inherit. Does our daughter have any gold? No. No, she does not. Okay, that's fine. 605 gold to upgrade this to a large city. And we'll have that pretty quickly, honestly. Just another month tick here. Whenever that happens to happen. And we lost our steward. That's fine. Collect taxes is definitely more efficient, so hopefully... 67.6, okay. I was hoping that that would put us up over our 70 marker, but no, it definitely did not. 
I really want to usurp this. How's that war going? 52%. Okay, she's winning her war. But it's not there yet. It is, however, time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Oh, hello. Yes, please do. I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And I will see you all next time when we are definitely, definitely going to usurp the kingdom of Moldavia.